Hi, I'm Alois Strozero from Ping Skills. And I'm Jeff Plum, and today we're going to talk about basic footwork. In table tennis, most of your movement is sideways, so it's really important to get that movement correct. Some basic things that you need to think about are making sure that you're down nice and low in your basic ready position. Once you're in that ready position, it's a matter of moving sideways with either a little bit of a jump or a shuffle. The easiest way to learn the basic footwork is to do it nice and slowly and one ball at a time. So I'm going to feed the ball out one at a time to Jeff. So we start with hit, jump, hit, jump into position and hit. And I'm catching the ball each time to give Jeff plenty of time to get the movement correct. Once you feel like your movement's correct, then you can start to hit the ball continuously. So it's a hit and jump. 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 The other really important part about footwork is to make sure that when you're actually hitting the ball that you have stopped. So now let's focus on move, stop, hit. Move, stop, and hit. Move, stop, hit. Move, stop, hit. Move, stop, hit. Move, stop, hit. Let's have a look at this in slow, one at a time. So it's hit, move, stop, hit. Move, stop, hit. Move, stop, and hit. Why is it really important to be stopped? Because if you're not stopped, you're going to be unbalanced when you're making the stroke. And then it's going to be difficult to recover for the next ball. So you can see that whenever Jeff's hitting the ball now, his feet have stopped, he's in position, and then he makes his stroke. And Jeff can do it super fast. So the footwork movement is called a shuffle step, but in reality, it's best if you're jumping with both legs at the same time. You'll notice that all the best players use both their legs at the same time. They've got their feet nice and wide apart, knees bent, and it's almost like they've got a rod between their knees. And all that's happening is that they jump sideways this way and sideways that way. If at the start you're finding it difficult to make that movement, you can use the shuffle step to get there. But in reality, I want you to progress pretty quickly to making the jump and hit, jump and hit. If you found this lesson useful to learn your footwork, go to pingskills.com and learn a whole lot more about table tennis.